Hey everyone, welcome to our top 10 list, and I want to talk more about comic books. I know I've done a lot of videos about comic books and superheroes. I've done my top 10 worst superhero movies, best superhero movies, I've ranked the Marvel movies, and I just recently did the top 10 my personal favorite animated comic book movies. Now I thought I'd continue with some more top 10 lists, and this is my top 10 personal favorite animated comic book shows. I grew up with a lot of great comic book shows, and it was hard to pick a top 10 list, but... There we go, here's my top 10 personal favorite animated comic book shows. And before a top 10 list, you got to have your honorable mentions. My honorable mentions for animated comic book shows are Batman Beyond, Super Friends, The Tick, Avengers Earth's Might Mightiest Heroes, Spawn, The Spectacular Spider-Man, and Astro Boy. Great, gr yeah, great shows, just couldn't make the top 10 list, but what did make my top 10 was my number 10. My number 10 is Teen Titans, yes. Teen Titans! Yeah, I like the show. I really liked the show when I was a kid. Uh, it's, it still holds up now today, but it's a show that was mostly made for kids. You know, the characters were really colorful. It, was, it wasn't really gritty or violent or disturbing. It was really kid-friendly, you know, with its jokes and all its characters and the way the story goes. And I like it, too. It was a great show. And I liked a lot of these characters. I liked Beast Boy, Raven, Starfighter. They're all great characters. I even liked the movie when they go to Tokyo. That was a great movie. And the, the only really thing that actually kind of made the show a little dark was the villain Slade. Yes, Deathstroke was the villain in this show, and he was great. I liked him as a villain, and I wish that for once they took his mask off, but I did like the show. I liked the colorful characters, I liked how fun it was, and action-packed it was, and I actually liked that it made Robin interesting and cool and everything, but Raven was always my favorite. I loved Raven. I loved her personality. That was like me as a kid, and I loved the black magic attacks, the Azarak Ritzfield Sing Tools. Oh yeah, I remember this spell, how it goes in the show. It's a great show, it was mostly great for kids, but it still holds up today. It's a great show. Coming number 9 is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, I bet you had some people didn't even know this was even a comic book. The comic books were actually much more gritty. The show was, again, like Teen Titans, very kid-friendly, but I loved it as a kid. I liked the characters, I loved, I loved Raphael, Michelangelo, Donatello, Hello, Leonardo, and I loved Splinter, I loved Shredder, I loved all these characters. Even April O'Neil, even though she was a dumbass damsel in distress, it, it was a good show. I liked the animation, I loved the opening song, you know, Turtle Power. And again, it was like, uh, it was a straight up kids show, but it was, it had this innocence to it, and it had its charm that adults can watch it too. I've, I've recently watched the show, and I still do like it. it. I don't really care for the comedy, but I like the characters, I like the animation, and I, and I love the detail this show did. Especially, it was pretty loyal to the source material, to the comic books. Even though the comic books were really gritty and kind of violent, and mostly made for like teenagers and young adults, but I still liked it, and the innocence of it was really good, and it was great for kids, and it's a great show to show younger viewers, and I did like it. And Bebop and Rocksteady, they actually did. She did them really cool, and they were interesting and funny characters, and yeah, I like the show. Teenage Mutant Turtles kicked ass. Coming number eight is Superman the Animated Series. Yes, not as good as Batman the Animated Series, but still a good show. It the opening to the show was really good. How they did the scenes with Jarrell on Krypton, very loyal to the source material and did it very well. And the animation is very similar to Batman, more bland and kind of cheaper looking. But yeah, Batman had really cool and gritty designs. This was, I guess, trying to be a little more colorful because Superman's more colorful and Batman's more dark and gritty. Yeah, so some of the animation does look a little dated because this is like a 90s, early 2000s cartoon, but I still enjoy the show. I like how loyal it is to Superman, and I love it. It actually does feel like a real Superman show, and it's actually a better Superman show than Smallville and a lot of other Superman shows that came out in the 70s and 80s, and it, it was a good show. It was good for, good for kids, and it's really good for Superman fans, and since I'm a Superman fan, I enjoyed it. Coming number seven is DuckTales. Yes, another show you probably didn't even think it was a comic book. It was. Never read it, but I loved this show. This was part of the Disney afternoon in the early 90s. And it was a great show. I loved Scrooge McDuck, his three nephews, Huey, Dewey, Louie. And I love, I love the designs. I love how adventurous. And I love this movie. I love that the show is always constantly on. It's always You're always constantly on an adventure with all these characters. And it's just a lot of fun. This is like an Indiana Jones of cartoon TV shows. And that's why I love it. DuckTales, awesome. DuckTales, woo! Coming number six is X-Men Evolution. Yes, this is the kind of show I always... Thought sounds stupid, but I still loved watching it. This is about the X-Men, and they're in high school. Yes, like Storm, Cyclops, Shadowcat, Rogue, all in high school together. Weird, and nothing like the comic books, but I thought the show worked. 
I love the psychology that they went through with some of these characters, especially Rogue and Nightcrawler and Mystique. And yeah, that story, those stories are very good. I love how they did Shadowcat. That actually felt like Shadowcat. I never really liked Shadowcat like Kitty Pride. I never liked her in the live action movies. She's decent in Days of Future Past, but I just I never felt that though. That was Shadowcat. This show did Shadowcat perfectly. And Kurt Vakna, Nightcrawler, they did him perfectly. They may have not done Storm and Cyclops all that great in Professor X, just eh. But they did, like, the certain characters, like, they did so well. Like, Rogue is great in the show. I liked her in the original, better than the original cartoon, but she was still good and fun. And I love the attention to detail they gave Shadowcat, Shadowcat, and Nightcrawler, and Mystique. And even then, Wolverine had some pretty good character development in this show. And I'm a, little, I'm a little sad that this show did get canceled. It did have a good audience, and it did have a great story, and it had some pretty good character development. Even though the X-Men were in high school, it's kind of lame. I still liked it. The action was good, the animation was good, there's some pretty good humor the idea of some of these characters and what they went through, and I won't spoil it, but it's a good show. Coming number five is Justice League slash Justice League Unlimited. This awesome show, like, this is between the Batman and Superman thing, and the show just worked. I don't know what else to say. The animation was good, all the Justice League members are in it. They're all great. Flash, Green Lantern, Superman, Batman, Hawkgirl, Wonder Woman, all of them, Martian Manhunter, all of them good. They got all the villains in it, and it just kicks some serious ass. It's a little childish at times, but who cares? Kids will love it, teenagers will love it, and all comic book fans will love it, and I loved it. Show number four is Silver Surfer. Yes, this show was on Fox Kids, and it got, like, canceled in, like, the first season. This show didn't even have a lot of episodes, and honestly, the animation in this show is pretty cheap looking and doesn't even look all that great. The reason I loved this show so much is because they did the story of Norm Rad so perfectly well. Like, the story is just so good. That's why I really love the show. Sure, the animation wasn't all that great and some of the voice acting sounded kind of weird, but I loved the story in this show. The story which is so well done. This is a perfect story and a perfect adaptation of Silver Surfer. I don't care about what that Fantastic Four movie says. That God, that's a stupid movie, by the way. And it's just a very good show and very good storytelling and very good writing. And, and I'm sad that it did get canceled in the first season because it is a good show for kids and it is a good show for Silver Surfer fans and I'm a big Silver Surfer fan so I liked it. Coming number three is X-Men the Animated Series. Yes, 1992's X-Men the Animated Series. Na -na 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 -na. Na -na 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 -na. I love that opening. One of my favorite openings to a cartoon. It's so good. Next to DuckTales. But yeah, I loved this show. This show was great. This was my childhood. Every day when I came home from school, I watched X-Men a lot. Like, X-Men was, like, my thing. This was, like, my favorite superhero show when I was a kid. Yes, Batman is my favorite now. Oh, spoilers. But, yeah, Batman is, like, my favorite now. But, like, I watched Batman as a kid, but I watched a lot of X-Men. I loved the X-Men. I loved the live-action X-Men movies. I loved the, the animated shows, X-Men Evolution. But this was my favorite. I think this is perfect X-Men. All the X-Men are just told brilliantly. Jean Grey, great. Storm, awesome. Rogue, the best rogue you'll ever see in this show. Wolverine, done well. Professor X, even Jubilee, even though I hate Jubilee. I don't like Jubilee as a character. I find her a pretty dumb character. She's always, she's always a damsel in distress, and she just ruins everything. She's never, like, the true hero. She doesn't feel like a part of the X-Men. She feels like a, like a third party. She feels more like a third party, not like an actual X-Men, but I did like it. I love the villain. Like, I love Magneto. I love uh, Juggernaud and Sabretooth in this. Apocalypse is also in it, and he's great. The action's really good. It does seem a little dated with the animation style, but I still like it. It's a very good show, and I love Gambit. Gambit is awesome. They, they need more Gambit in these shows. Not a lot of Gambit. Yes, X-Men, Orton's Wolverine, worst Gambit ever. But yeah, I love the show. This was my childhood. This was my nostalgia, and I love X-Men. X-Men. Coming number two is Young Justice. Yes, I actually do like this better than Justice League, and it's really good. This movie just recently came out just a couple of years ago, and this actually, this feels more like anime-esque. Yeah, like, this is a superhero show that actually feels like I'm watching an anime. It's really good. This is about the Young Justice League. This is like Superboy, Aqualad, Artemis, Robin, who becomes Nightwing later on, and all that stuff. They basically, they want to start their own team, because they can't become the part of the Justice League, because they're too young, so they start their own little Justice this thing called the Young Justice. And basically it's like the Justice League. They fight all these villains, they work together as teams, they learn about each other and everything, and that's basically the show. It's just Young Justice, and it's done better than Justice League. I love Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, but this show is just really good. I love these characters. 
like, I loved every single one of these characters. I love Aqualad. I love Robin. I loved uh, Superboy. And I loved all these characters. And I loved how they interacted with each other. And they all felt like real teenagers. Like, X-Men Evolution, I liked them as teenagers. But some of them found... Some of them I found a little bit too cartoony, and some of them sound too adultish. Like I like when characters actually feel like their age. They feel like teenagers. All these characters actually felt like teenagers, and they acted like teenagers. And I like realism in a show, even though it is a cartoon. They're supposed to act a little cartoony, but I liked it. The animation looks beautiful. This is one of the most beautifully designed superhero shows. It's so good. I love the characters. Love the writing. I wish there was more seasons. Only two seasons. That was bullshit. I wanted more Young Justice, but what I got was amazing, and it's my, it's my second favorite animated comic book show. And my number one favorite animated comic book show is Batman the Animated Series. Everyone knew that this was coming. I spoiled it earlier in the video, but if you watch my top 20 favorite shows, my top 10 favorite cartoons, you kind of saw this coming. Batman the Animated Series is perfect. It's a perfect adaptation of Batman. When I see Batman, a perfect Batman, I see Kevin Conroy in Batman the Animated Series. It goes into the complete depth of the character, and it goes loyal to the source material with the comic books, and it even adds new things and new characters and new villains, and it's a brilliant show. The animation is top-notch. Kevin Conroy is the best Batman. He voices Batman brilliantly well. The story of Batman is brilliant. The character development of Batman is brilliant. I love Robin in this. I love Batgirl. I love all the villains. All of the, Every single Batman villain is in this show, and it's done perfectly well. Especially Mr. Mr. Freeze. As you know, Mr. Freeze is my favorite Batman villain. I like, I hate Batman Robin fucking up Mr. Freeze, but he is done perfectly well in the episode when you get introduced to Mr. Freeze is my favorite episode of the series. It's so good. I love this show. Mark Hamill as the Joker is brilliant and everything about this show is brilliant and Harley Quinn has done so well. And I love this show. This show, again, was my childhood. I may have watched X-Men more and it was my favorite as a kid. But now, Batman the Animated Series is the best thing I've ever seen of Batman and almost anything comic book related. Batman the Animated Series is my all-time favorite. So yeah, that was my top 10 personal favorite animated comic book show. So yeah, please, comment below, give me your give me your top 10, your favorite animated comic book shows. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.